Hello to everyone at the British Chamber of Commerce in Japan and to everyone joining in the Tohoku region. I'm delighted to be able to send this message to you today in support of the BCCJ Tohoku Week. It's a great initiative that seeks to promote local Tohoku businesses through engagement with British companies. I had planned to be in Fukushima myself today to meet with members of the prefectural government and to see some of the Tohoku reconstruction efforts firsthand. Unfortunately, that's not been possible due to the state of emergency in Tokyo. The focus of this week is rightly on the future of the region, but I hope you won't mind if I say something about the events of March the 11th, 2011. At the time, I was asked to lead the UK's crisis response to the disaster from London. I remember clearly how deeply shocked I was on seeing the terrible images and videos coming through from Japan. Our priority in times of crisis has to be on helping British nationals. I'm proud of the way that the teams in the British Embassy responded. The ambassador at the time, David Warren, whom many of you may remember, decided to travel to Sendai to establish our base there to support British nationals in the region. We brought over to Japan our Japanese-speaking British staff from our embassies around the world to help set up a 24-7 operation in the embassy and we sent a rapid deployment team to maintain our presence in Tohoku to help British people evacuating the area. Our Department for International Development also sent a humanitarian rescue team to help with the aftermath and to try to save lives. For 10 days, the team searched the area through hotels, evacuation centres, houses and hospitals for British people. I know that their help was appreciated by the local government. For the 10 year anniversary this year, we held a remembrance ceremony at the embassy to remember all those people who lost their lives in the disaster and to pray for the survivors and for the revival of the region. Our staff donated money to the charity administered by Miyagi Prefecture, Higashi Nihon Daishinsai Miyagi Kodomo Ikue Bokin, which supports children who lost their parents in the disaster and ensures they have access to education. Following the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami, many countries set up community projects with Japan to show solidarity with the disaster victims. One such project was the building of the Fukushima Garden in London's Holland Park in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. The Fukushima Garden was designed to be a place for quiet contemplation for those who were affected by the 2011 disaster and as such, the garden has become a symbol of unity between the people of Japan and the people of the United Kingdom. In February 2015, during the official visit of Prince William to Japan, he went to Fukushima and he visited the Smile Kids Park in Motomiya, where he'd had the opportunity to meet some of the parents and children of the city. The prince also planted an English oak tree in the park which was meant as a symbolic wish for Fukushima's speedy recovery. I understand that the park where he planted the tree has since been renamed as the Prince William Park. I hope I can visit the park in the near future. As the Tohoku region rebuilds, UK engagement will continue to make a valuable contribution. British nuclear companies are using their decades of expertise from the UK nuclear industry to support the Fukushima Daiichi decommissioning effort, supporting local jobs and enabling the cleanup of the nuclear plant. I know there are British people living in Tohoku who are doing their best to forge strong links of friendship and cooperation between our two countries. I hope that we will see British companies also attracted to the region. We can all play our part. The British Chamber of Commerce in Japan have resources available to guide you in ways that you can engage with local businesses and charities. And I encourage you to take a look and see where you can get involved. I've already visited different parts of the Tohoku region. 
including Minami Sanriku at the end of a 500 kilometer charity cycle ride in May 2015, during my previous posting here. I've got very good memories of the people I met, the beautiful coast and countryside, and the delicious food. I look forward to visiting the region again as soon as I can and to seeing for myself the amazing work that BCCJ members are doing with local enterprises. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you all today.